All right, all right. What is up this morning, everybody? It is Monday morning, February 12th. We're cruising through this year. And yesterday was the Super Bowl. It was a crazy game. I'm not a big Super Bowl guy. I'm not a huge football guy. I like to watch it here and there. But I will say, yesterday was a wild game. It was so back and forth. I was on the edge of the couch all night. And I didn't have one beer. Nothing. Because I'll tell you, I haven't been drinking. I never was a heavy drinker. Um, I just... It, I just don't like the way it makes me feel at all, right? It makes you feel crappy, lazy, unmotivated. But anyway, today we're going to get into some live cold calls. Um, I've never done these type of live cold calls yet. Um, usually I call subdivisions that are sold. It's so easy to pick up the phone. Well, it's not easy. I'll tell you that. It takes practice. And again, uh, the last video did so well. So um, I hope this helped you guys. Let, let's get into it here. I'm in Canada. And I'm using telelisting, okay? Um, it's 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 okay. It's it's not like what they got in the states. They got Red X and things like that. And it's a little bit better. I'm using telelisting. Gives you all the expire or er, sorry, gives you all the do not call list, all things like that. So um, yeah, let let's get into it. Let's we're calling a, a subdivision today that there was just a new listing on. And it wasn't quite for my clients, so we're going live here. The cold call. Here we go. Excited. You got to get excited for this stuff, right? Hold on here. I got to find some some music or something. Let's see. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Okay. Hello, listing. Got some notes here. Let's get into it. I the pickup rate. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. The pickup rate might not be the best here. Um, this morning, or we could get some angry people because they could be hung over. We're gonna call them anyway. Mister Gambling, were you gambling last night? All right, let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Love hearing this sound. Hey, Mr. Gamlin, Seven Young Column with the XP Realty. If you give me a call back at your earliest convenience, 506-608-3191. Hope you have a great day. Voicemail. We'll just drop them. We just drop them. Okay. One sec, guys. See, I like to play some music in the background, right? It keeps me going, keeps me loose. Now, I'm gonna. This video is gonna be on YouTube for everyone to see, but you gotta be careful with YouTube, right? They'll give you a copyright. So, just give me. A, Right there, non-copyright playlist for YouTube. Yeah, how's that? Let's go. All right, who's the next one? I'll just go until I get a uh, get a bite. We're going fishing. We're going fishing today for clients. Hello, Mrs. James. Pardon me? Is this Mrs. James? Mrs. James. Y yeah, maybe I have the wrong number. Okay. Uh, who am I speaking to? Well, who are you looking for? Oh, I was, I was just looking for the homeowner of 409 Driscoll Drive. Okay, so you have that. Yeah. So what are you looking for me? Uh, so, 
It's Evan Young with EXP Realty. I didn't want to take up too much of your time today. Um, did you see four, 380 or 403 just listed there for 289 on your street? Yeah, I did, yeah. Yeah, so they're looking at offers on that on the 14th on Valentine's Day. It's supposed to, I think it's going to be sitting around 350 probably is what that'll go for. Anyway, I wasn't sure if there was anything in the world I could do for you guys. If there was something down the road, you'd be looking to move, or there's a neighbor you might might want to get rid of, or anything like that. Yeah, I, I, we've had a couple of people talk to us over the last year. Um, probably not something we're going to look at in the near future. Right. Uh, you know, it's not it's not off the table. You know, but uh, I, I just I don't think right now that's what we're I, I don't really blame you. It's a great spot there, Fundy Heights. I live, I live west too. I just built down in Westgate though last year, but oh, yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah, no, we, um, it's, it's really a better place. I mean, it's, it's great for us as well. But it's a great. This area right here is awesome for kids. Like, it's just an awesome I know, kids. absolutely. And, uh, Yep. I think if we did, it would probably be a year or two before we did something like that. But oh. I appreciate you coming. No, oh my God. I, it's no problem at all. I'm, I'm just like, uh, what I'm going to do, I'll send you a little card in the mail. And if you even just want to know what something went for, just being like, because as a name, yeah. I always do, give me a show. Would it be all right if I stayed in touch with you over the in a few years? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, and, and uh, you know, definitely send your card. And, uh, you know, if we change our mind or whatever, I don't blame you. Seriously. I, I don't. Honestly, we really, you know, we have thought a lot about it, and we've just, I think we've just settled that we're going to be a couple more years anyway before we make a move on. Yeah. So, don't you know, if that changes, you know, we, if I have your card, we can. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll send you a letter for sure. What would be the best email to reach you at? Oh, okay. So you sure you don't have you? Won't, I send out a. Yeah, I can give you my, my email, I guess. Okay. Um, I guess the best one. I'll just give you the home one, like it's uh, Emmy. Yep. At Rogers. Rogers. Dot com. Dot com. Okay. What was and your I'll be name? Honest, I don't mind hearing from you once in a while, but I don't want to be hounded. You I don't. Know. You don't need to worry about that, ma'am. I don't. I'm not like that at all. I just call around to give some people with some information. But uh, yeah, what was your name? Anna. Anna. James J A N E S. Anna. Jane. All right, Anna. It was great talking to you today. And seriously, when you get my card, if there's anything you want to know, or if you're even ever looking for a plumber or anything like that, reach out anytime. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much for calling. All right, Anna. Have a great one. Right, take care. Bye bye. Boom! That is what I'm talking about, people. Ooh. That is it right there, everybody. You see that? Would have never, ever spoke to that homeowner. Now I got a client, Mrs. James, and I'm going to now send her. Let's see. Let's see. I'm an open book, everybody. I just want to help, okay? Uh-oh. Oh, no, right there. Here's what we're going to do. Now we're going to send Miss James a thank you card, right? We're going to do a handwritten, handwritten, not something that's printed, nothing like that. We're going to do a handwritten thank you card. I'm going to fire that off to her in the mailbox, and in the mail. Then I'm gonna, I got her email. The reason I want her email is because I'm gonna add it now to my CRM. She is now gonna get my weekly email every single week for the rest of her life. And I'm gonna send her a Christmas card at Christmas time. I'll put that in, the, in the, my calendar to remind me to do that at the end of the year. Every person I'm cold calling that I get their email and we make a connection, I send them a Christmas card. But guys, at the end of the day, Guess what it's all about? Getting the email. If you don't get the email, like you, you see how she said, just drop me something in the mail? It doesn't work. It just doesn't work. I'll tell you why. I could drop her card in the mail. 
I can give her a t-shirt. I can give her a sweater. Doesn't matter. Because guess where it's going to go? It's going to get lost. The card's going to go in the, mi the, the garbage. But now she's going to get an email every week. You don't get the email, you don't get the client. Now, some people don't have email. So you got to do it the old school way. You got to call them all the time. For every few months, follow up. Send the letters. Go door knock them. Drop stuff. Whatever. It's a lot of work, guys. And look, I'm just getting into it. I'm nowhere near where I want to be with the cold calling. But my goal is... See, in, in the States, any if anybody from the States is watching this here, you guys have like triple dialers and all this stuff. You can bang out a thousand numbers in a day, right? So I, I'm, I'm sitting here dialing like individually. So my goal is to get 20 emails a week or at least 20 contacts a week. And for me, 20 contacts a week. What do we got here? I'm not the best at math times 52 weeks is 1,040 emails, right? If I do that every week for five years, I got 5,200 contacts in my CRM. Pretty wild, right? So what do you think is going to happen to my business in five years? Well, everybody else just sitting back waiting for business to come in and chasing buyers around. I'm going to be doing what I love. Listing houses. That's what it's all about. Let's go, people. Let's get into it. It's only February. You want to do one more? Let's do one more. Here, I just got to make sure here I have all the right information for later when I save this wonderful lady's number. And let's change. Oh, nice. Right, so just bear with me guys. I gotta save some stuff Because if I don't I'll forget to Do you see how I switched that up there she she didn't really want to tell me who is who So I just said I'm looking for the homeowner a 409 now we're going to add a task here to follow up with her. You know what? We're going to send her a card, a beautiful card on Thursday, July 4th. And we're going to send her one because I think she's going to sell. She could sell one or two years. I think everybody says that one or two years. Right? I ain't waiting one or two years. I don't care if they wait five years. It doesn't matter to me. But they're going to think of me when we do it. Okay, let's go. Let's get on to the next one. On to the next one. Okay. I hope this helps you guys. I really do. E T McDonald four ten. Let's make sure this isn't listed first. That's the thing too, about friggin' telelisting. Let's tell y'all. Ooh, okay. This sold back in two thousand eleven. These guys need a new realtor. Two thousand eleven. My God, that was twelve, thirteen years ago. They need a new realtor. And you know who that's gonna be? Evan Young. From EXP Realty in the Wolf Pack. Let's go. Okay, let's do one more. One more call for you guys and we'll uh we'll get into it here. Let's go. Five oh six. Hope we hit get a, hope we get a nasty one. Hang right up. You just laugh it off, guys. Just laugh it off. You know what I did before? Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Helen McDonald is not available at the tone. 
Hey, Alan, it's Evan Young calling with EXP Realty here in St. John. Wonder if you give me a call back, 506-608-3191. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye. So, 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 here's what I'm going to share with you guys, too. If they don't answer or they don't call back, or sometimes the numbers aren't right on this so it could be geez sorry guys i keep freaking hitting my camera there so what i do if somebody i don't i don't get a hold of or their phone number doesn't work i mail them this letter right here it's something i put together right fold that up fire a couple cards in there ah just one I just fire one card in there. The people I'm sending the thank you cards to, I fire two or three business cards in there. Just in case one gets lost, you know what I mean? So that's what we're going to do with the people we don't get a hold of. Here, just hold on. I'm going to do one more there, guys, for you. Real estate is not easy, but you know what else isn't easy? Working for somebody else 40 to 50 to 60 hours a week. So start treating it like a job. I'm here working. That's what you got to do. You got to work. You can't just sit around all day. If you want to work out, get up in the morning and go to the gym. Get up at 5 o'clock. Go to the gym. Get it out of the way. You're going to the gym in the middle of the day. Half your day's over. It's gone. I mean, I'm no top agent or anything but I'll tell you I'll be there I had two jobs for six years or seven years being a real estate agent I was a locomotive engineer at NBC at uh, the railway here where I'm from finally got to quit last year okay so we just called this person let's try another let's try another let's see 413 Okay, nothing. This house wasn't it doesn't even show on the MLS. So you know what that means? They need a realtor. And they don't they just don't know it yet. You know who that's going to be? Hopefully me. Let's see what they got to say. Miss Johnson. Miss Johnson. Hello, Mrs. Johnson? Yes. Hey, how are you doing today? Oh, so, so. <laughs> good. Well, I hope that's good. I hope you're doing all right. Um, that won't take up too much of your time then. Uh, my name is Evan Young uh, with EXP Realty here in St. John. And I just wasn't sure. Did you see that house for sale there down the road at um, 380 or 403? No, just next door. Oh, you're, yeah, so there's one, jeez, you, we, uh, we came here, and Michaelson bought their, that house back in, in, uh, in, uh, 19, um, yeah, no, Smith, 19, 1958, yeah, it, I've been here, I've been here since the first of October, 1958, 1958 you've been there you're, you're in your 90s and you're still holy br past. you're past 96 yeah. man you sound like you're like not even at all that's amazing what my voice what? is deceiving apparently because I feel it I'm pushing a walker now talking to you what do you uh, what's the secret how do you how do you how do you stay so healthy and live in there that's amazing How how many kids do you have? Oh. How many how many kids do you have? I have two now. I had three. The oldest boy died uh, back in February twenty first, uh, twenty years 
Oh, sorry to hear that. I know what it's like to to lo to lose. Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah, my mother's a nurse as well. And uh, I know what it's like to lose somebody because I lost my younger brother there last year as well. It was pretty rough. Not easy. Um, so yeah, I won't, I won't take up too much of your time, ma'am. I just, I didn't, no, no, I was just calling around to see if I uh, passing some information off to people. What, so the, um, number, no, not from you. I was giving people information that like 403 was just listed for 290 and, uh, they're, it's probably going to sell for around 350. Yeah. Fifty-eight. Yeah, that, that's another thing that's crazy. The taxes. Yeah. It, yeah, it's probably worth more than that, though. The the. Se Yeah, it's probably worth more than that. No, I, I don't. I, I'm the only person in the 41 houses they built then. That's an, still living here. That's you know what? That's amazing, and you're gonna stay right there. Um, what I'm gonna do? What was your What was your name, ma'am? My name? What was it? What do you mean? What What's your first? What's your name? How did you call me then? Well, I got uh, your last name Johnson. I just never got your first. Mary Eileen. That's nice. I'm gonna. Well, Mary Eileen, I'm gonna send you a card in the mail, and thank you, thanking you for your time today and taking the time to talk to me. And what did you say? They're asking for that house. They're asking. People that live there haven't been there very long. I don't even know what they look like. No, they haven't. Well, I'll tell you exactly when they bought. Before they weren't there very long. Well, people. Well, I'll tell you exactly how long they've been there. Um, Four oh three, so they bought it in July, July twenty twenty, and they're selling it now. But it'll probably sell for over three hundred thousand for sure. I hundred percent it will. Everything's on any bungalows floating between two fifty to three fifty now. It's pretty wild. Um, so yeah, if there was any, ever, I'll send you a card in the mail and a thank you for today. And if there's every ever anything in the world I can do for you, whether you're just looking for, a, whether it's a plumber or anything, you reach out any time. Absolutely. Take take her. That and I I do. My next my trip's down the road here, down to Holy Cross Cemetery. I think you're doing amazing. No, no, no. That won't cost you much. That one. I already have a place to go. Well, I wish you all the best, though, with everything. Like, I hope you live in. I hope. I hope you. Forty years, jeez, you're a strong woman. You've been doing everything for years. Well, what do you do when you have to? Yeah, that's right. You got to do what you got to do. Right. Yeah, they did. Oh, okay. So they've been there ever since. And the next house, somebody's moved from that. I don't, I didn't know those people at all. I don't know when they moved or if or what. I don't know. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, 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 I know what you mean. Right. And everybody that moved here was all young with children and everything. And now I'm the old girl here in the 90s. And there's not too many around the daytime because they're all working. They're all working, yep. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay, man. Okay, Mary, uh, Mary Eileen, I won't keep you anymore. Um, again, I'll send you a card in the mail. And honestly, if there's any, everything you ever do, if you do decide to sell, I'd love to help you with that. If not, that's yeah. fine too. What did you say your name is? My name's Evan Young. Evan? Evan Young, yep. Do you live in the West Side? I do. I, li I, just, I live in Westgate, up down there behind the pumpkin patch, kind of. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 That's a nice area. Yeah, it is. I used to live uh, on Birchwood Place, which was across from Misty Harbor Seafood, was where I was brought up. Um, and then I just built, well, that's where I had my, I actually bought my own house there, and then I built a house in Westgate last year. Well, well, you've done well then. Thank you. I appreciate that. And real estate's a, a, a busy business, isn't it? It's I worked in the real estate office as a secretary for a few years, my last few years. No, not my last few years, for five years. Oh, did you? Yeah, it is busy. I used to work for the railway for a long time, uh, driving train, and I just... Uh, I, it just wasn't enough for me, so I wanted to pursue something else, and I've been doing this now seven years, and I'm top ten in Atlantic Canada. Yeah. For sure. yeah. When, when I worked for the real estate people, they were, they were always waiting for the phone to ring, and there was only a few of them. They had, they had a few, uh, not a few, a few phones, but a few people that worked in the real estate business. There weren't people selling their houses. Everybody seemed to be staying where they were. Yeah. It took a few, quite a few years for to get so busy. Yeah, it takes a while, but you got to put the work in too, right? No, you got to put the work in, so. Yeah, sure. Well, good luck to you, then. All right. Yeah, again, I'll send you a card in the mail. You Call me if you need anything. Okay. Okay. See ya. All right. Bye-bye. That one really got prolonged, guys. I'm sorry about that. Um, typically, my conversations are pretty short, but you know what? That lady was 96 years old, living there all alone. She probably just wants someone to talk to. So you gotta enter, you gotta you gotta talk to her, right? I enjoy that. It's all about helping people. And I didn't ask for the email. It's because there was a solid chance she did not have a computer or an email. So I'll still tell stay in touch with her and hopefully everything you never know. You never know what'll happen, right? Maybe she'll tell somebody about me. You just never ever know. You gotta get on the phones, guys. So I'm gonna continue to make cold calls here. Let's see if I can get another one for you. We'll try one more. Just one sec though, I gotta write this down. Okay, let's see who's next. Right here, four, two, two. Let's get it. Okay, this one was sold in 2012. Let's see, they need a realtor. They just need a new, fresh realtor. Let's go. Surprise, we're getting phone call answers here today, guys. I love it. Let's get this going. 506 8B1. See, okay so this bunner this bunner so that number right there didn't work and that's what this letter here I was showing you guys earlier oh. that's what I'm sending out to that place okay that's what we're gonna do there Might not go anywhere. Might go somewhere. Come on, we only got two two more calls left on the street. And I'm going to get it. Driss. 
Driscoll on Driscoll Drive. Cool. The guy's last name's the same name as the street. Nine seven two nine. Ah, shoot. Phone's dying. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hello, Mrs. Driscoll? Yes. Hey, how you doing today? I'm okay. Good. It's uh, Evan Young calling with EXP Realty. I was just calling uh, down the street there. Did, did you see that house for sale at uh, 403 Driscoll just down the road? Yeah. Yeah, so that I'm uh, just get calling around to give some people some information, kind of what's going on on the street. Um, so that one there is listed for 289 and um, we're looking at offers on it on the 14th valentine's day and it'll probably be selling between 300 to 350 Wow, crazy eh yeah yeah it's pretty wild but i was just calling i wasn't sure if there's anything in the world i could do for for you today or, or what if you plan on doing something down the road or... we're pretty good we're pretty happy funny right now. funny heights is awesome it's great it is, yeah. i just live in westgate just uh, on the west west side as well Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty, uh, yeah, it's pretty wild. And it's hard to find a house for people. A lot of people want to live in here, right, too. And uh, especially, I get a couple kids. Same with Fundy Heights is a great spot for kids as well. Yeah, so, sure um, But, yeah, I mean, down in five, ten years, if you decide to do something, would it be all right if I stayed in touch with you? Sure, that's what, quite all right. What, what was your first name, man? It's Ann. Ann. What, what, what would be the best email to reach out, Ann? Oh, you got the new Gmail. Awesome. <laughs> Moving on up. <laughs> I seen a joke the other day with some a comedian saying, "You you know you're getting old when you still got a simpatico email." Oh, hot mail. <laughs> <laughs> <A> hot mail. <laughs> All right, Ann. I won't keep All you there. Right, it was bent. I'm gonna you. send you a card in the mail thanking you for today. If there's anything I can ever do for you, whether you're looking for a plumber, carpenter, anything, reach, or you just want to know what a price something went for, give me a call. I'll be happy yeah, to give yeah. you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, thanks so much. See ya. All right, bye -bye. Boom! Two emails. I'm now her realtor, I hope. So, see that? Would it be all right if I stayed in touch with you, Mrs. Jesco? Whether it's five, ten years down the road, would it be all right? Yeah, sure. Great. What's the best email to reach at? Done. I don't want anything. I want the email. I would say this is a great video for today, guys. We've been, this is, this is fun. I love it. And you know what? I say this every time. Would you rather have a phone hung up on you or a door slammed in your face? Right? I would or, or be broke. Pick one. You can't be going after the now business. You just can't. If, you tr if you're chasing business now and you get that aggressive pitch to you, no one's going to want to work with you, right? You can tell I'm laid back. I'm low key. I don't care. You got to be planning for right now. It's 2024. I'm planning for 2026, right? 2027, 2028. Can't plan for today. I'm building my sphere. And that's what you got to do. And your now business is going to come off of referrals. You got to touch those people too. It's a lot of work. So I'm trying to do this three days a week. Plus, you got to dive your social media dialed in. Look, guys, we do so much training on this, and I'm very, very good at it now because of the group we're in with NEXP. And I'm going to tell you, if you guys, we have a call every Tuesday night of exactly what we do. It's free. There's 30 to 40 new agents every single week looking to join. And I'm telling you, it's a great call. If you're a realtor out there and you're looking for more to be around the right people, to, to get the top-notch technology training. And this has nothing to do with EXP. This is all outside EXP. We provide it all. Mike Sherrard provides it all for us. He made it all. Oh, it's insane. So, if you're looking for any of that, you're looking to change it up for this year, 
I'd love to have a chat with you and share the knowledge for free. No, no charge, no nothing. That's what it's all about here. Let's go. And I hope you guys have an awesome 2024. Let's go. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good one. Oh, oh, and get, oh, one more thing. My name's Evan Young, again, from St. John to Brunswick, Canada. And it, please, if you like this video, hit subscribe, hit like, and comment if you'd like me to do more of these or you want to role play. Let's do it. I'd be happy to. We'll get on a Zoom call and we'll do some live calls together and record it. Give you some content. Be fun. Have a great one, guys. Cheers. Uh -huh.